Alright, so now our next step is to go ahead and epoxy our guides and thread work. I like to start down towards the base of the rod and work my way up. So that's what we're going to do here. Start with our custom fish decal. And in your custom rod building kit, it comes with these syringes. The nice thing about these syringe kits is I don't have to sit here and eyeball and make sure I've got 50-50 based on these measurements in my mixing cup. I have those measurements right here on the syringe. You can see the syringe is loaded to 12 milliliters here. I'm just going to put 2 milliliters in the cup, so it'll bring me down to 10. Double check my other syringe. It is at 12. Go ahead and squeeze 2 more milliliters of the second part. Right there, we're at 10. Now I know for sure I have 50-50 equal mix in that cup. Now what I'm going to do here is just take my stirring stick and just stir it nice and steady. What I'm doing the whole time here is I'm keeping that mixing stick against the bottom of the mixing cup. If you go up and down, you're going to bring bubbles into the mixture. I prefer to try to avoid them from the start. There is a nice tool out from Pacific Bay. It's an epoxy mixer. It's a little rotating motor with a ball bearing in a cup and it rotates your cup and that ball bearing mixes the epoxy for you and the nice thing about that tool is there's no bubbles and you don't have to sit here and stir it you can throw that epoxy in there walk away for a few minutes come back and you know your epoxy is mixed perfectly every time looks like we're completely mixed you can see a few bubbles in there but no problem as long as there's no swirls we're okay extend the pot life the working time that you have to work with your epoxy Go ahead and pour it into one of your epoxy dishes after you've mixed it. Put some epoxy on my brush. And I'm just going to rotate my hand, rotate my blank with one hand, and apply the epoxy with the other. And I'm not actually trying to paint the epoxy on. I'm just rotating the blank and pushing the epoxy around the blank to get it on there. You can see I'm not being really picky about you know how this goes on. I just want to get a coat on there. The epoxy will level itself to a certain degree. So just as long as we get it on there we'll be able to even it out later. So a nice thin coat by hand took no time um, but we still got the rest of our rod to epoxy here, so I'm going to show how to go ahead and apply epoxy with the power wrapper. Again, just load my brush with some epoxy. And with the power wrapper, I actually like to put a nice little bead on there and actually let the epoxy... I just hold the brush against the wrap and let the epoxy just flow around the wrap. Get a little bead going like that and just let it flow. And that's all there is to it. Now that we've applied epoxy to the entire rod, I always come back to where I started and kind of inspect it, look for any low spots or high spots and bubbles. Just come back with some epoxy, apply it to those areas. Any spots that are high or low at this point will level themselves out with heat. I don't want to apply heat to anywhere else. It can actually create bubbles. You can cook your finish um, or make your finish run. I just do a quick little swipe. One rotation of the rod helps the epoxy flow into place. And again, we're going to come back with a second coat, a second thin coat, and you know, smooth over any small gaps that we may have. So I'll go ahead and just move down the rod here. And that's it. Just come back look one more time. Our rod's done. So in no time, we built the handle, installed our guides, wrapped our guides, epoxied our guides, along with our custom fish decal and name. You know, so in no time, you know, we've built our own rod, personalized it the way we want to. And now we can go fishing. You know, let this dry overnight and it'll be good to go tomorrow.
Everyone's always anxious, including myself, to grab the rod, you know, is it ready yet? Well, the last thing you want to do is put your finger or, you know, touch your epoxy with your brush or anything if you're not sure if it's if it's done drawing. So the best thing to do is just leave your epoxy dish um, laying around somewhere that you use to finish your rod so you can always test it. And if this epoxy is not ready, the epoxy is not ready on your rod either. So just check it. You can see here it's been a couple hours now since we actually uh, put this finish on the rod but still obviously not rock hard it's tacky if you put your finger in that it's going to leave a fingerprint just like that and you don't want that on your rod so the best thing to do is leave your epoxy dish laying around and, uh, and double check it before you touch your rod